Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrissy and this is Everyday Tippets. Welcome back. Today I have a Walmart grocery haul for you. It is a nasty, gross, windy, rainy day and I feel terrible for the guy that just delivered my groceries, but he showed up on time. And as you saw in the beginning, we have some fancy new bags here in town. Um, we're um, in the process of eliminating plastic bags as you probably know in your state or your country wherever you are um that's a thing now so until the end of june i believe the delivery man said we will be given these um these reusable bags so they're pretty fancy and then after that they will give you the option to buy them so i'm not sure how that's going to work if i get my groceries delivered i, I don't really know um so I do have a very fairly large grocery haul today. I tried to eat through my fridge and my freezer for a, a period of time to try to empty it out and make room for new stuff. But we do go through the fresh stuff fairly quickly, the vegetables and the fruits, we eat a lot of that here. So I just needed to stock up on some of those things as well as quick freezer meals for like when I work the 12 hour days and I don't know what I'm gonna eat or if we were out all day and we need something quick for dinner, I did pick up a few of those things. So, this is a big one. Let's get into it. This is my gigantic grocery haul. It's going to last me a long time. And then I have some more stuff over here. Don't mind my crock pot. I, uh, I had to wash it. This morning we had a crock pot meal, salsa verde chicken the other day, and it was really delicious. Um, so let's get into it. We'll start over here. This is the bread my daughter likes to bring to school for her sandwiches. It's three points per slice. I believe if you have two, it's seven. I usually don't have this bread. Um, I stay away from it, but if I do, I'm going to have the one for three points. This is 647 hot dog rolls. Um, I did get some lower point hot dogs to have as a meal one night for a quickie. These are two points each. They're low carb, low calories, and I just thought that that was a good option. So over here, we have our zero sugar French vanilla creamer. This is the creamer that my daughter likes in her coffee. I use unsweetened almond milk and I put it in my frother. My daughter's not a huge fan of froth, so the froth, the foam in her coffee, so she just puts that in there. We needed more of, I can't believe it's not butter. This is zero points for the serving. I got some plain Greek non-fat yogurt. Um, I was going to make two ingredient dough. Um, I haven't made that in a while, so we're gonna try like a pizza or a pizza bake this week. The veggie dogs, I was looking for fat-free turkey dogs, but they didn't have them. So this was another good option. They're one point each. So, you know, with that hot dog roll I showed you, we can have a three-point hot dog and then make some french fries with the potatoes on the side. Potatoes are a zero-point food for me. So I usually just spray those with a little bit of cooking spray and then put them in the air fryer seasoned up. And that is a zero-point side dish for me. Um, sausage, egg, and cheese on a croissant. I got those for my daughter. She has one before she goes to school in the morning. It's quick, it's easy. She is usually down to the wire on school days and she can have a quick breakfast with her coffee. I needed more black beans. Black beans are great, high in fiber, high in protein. I add them to my bowls. I add them to my wraps. They're just, I love black beans. I got the shake and bake extra crispy. Um, I did, it is one point for an eighth of a packet and that it says it usually will coat one piece of chicken. I'm going to make um, a mock, uh, like a Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A chicken in my air fryer um, with that. And I showed you I got the cooking spray, zero points for that. Uh, this seasoning is so good. I made buffalo chicken meatballs with it um, a few weeks ago and it was delicious. So I got two packs of those Hidden Valley Ranch, buffalo ranch seasoning. Um, I got some plums. I got some plum tomatoes, otherwise known as Roma tomatoes. This, these are, um, low in water content as, as a, you know, compared to a regular beefsteak tomato or any other variety of tomato. So that's why I get those. So that way if I put them in a wrap or put them in on a sandwich or cut them up on a salad, they're not gonna be like dripping all over the place with the water inside the tomato. So I like those. I always get these broccoli florets. They're a dollar a bag. And my daughter loves broccoli. So I know that if I cook broccoli, she's gonna eat a vegetable. 
So I got two bags this time. Um, I got a huge thing of blueberries. This was a substitution. I or actually ordered a smaller, but they didn't have it. So when Walmart substitutes something and they have to give you the bigger size or a different brand, they will always charge you the original item cost that you picked. So this is a 24 ounce um, thing of blueberries. So I usually wash these with the grapes and um, you know I put them in mason jars in my refrigerator and they last for a while, but they don't last long in our house because we eat them. Um, these black seedless grapes are so sweet and so delicious that one, one of these was not good enough last time. We ate them in a heartbeat. So I got two this time. Um, sliced mushrooms. I like the baby Bella over the white mushrooms because they're a little bit meatier, they're heartier. And um, Nikki gets fit. It, she has a YouTube channel. She always makes a veggie mix with peppers and zucchini. But last time I didn't have any zucchini, so I added mushroom instead. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my veggie mix this week with peppers and mushrooms. Um, I got a big pack of green beans because I roasted these in the oven the other day and they were so good. So I got some more so we can do that again for a side. Chicken breasts, hard to find. I was able to snag them. There's two huge ones in here, I think. And I think that's what I'm going to do with the shake and bake tonight um, for dinner. Um, I also got two packages of al fresco chicken sausages. There's many varieties, but I picked these two because they are the lowest in points. They're each three points per length. And I just love these because they're already cooked. You can slice them up and throw them in your eggs. You can slice them up and throw them in an omelet, put them in a wrap. Um, I like to slice them up in my bowls. Um, and it's just really quick if I need to meal prep for work and I don't have a protein already prepped. So I can just throw one of these in there. Um, so I got two of those. Then we got some deli meat for my daughter's sandwiches. I also like to eat this as well. And I put these in wraps and bowls and sandwiches and um, saute it on the side of my eggs. We got the honey uncured ham by Oscar Mayer. It's one point for two ounces. And then the turkey breast, this is also one point for two ounces. Uh, showed you my potatoes, my tomatoes, my plums. I got 18 eggs. We go through eggs like crazy. I'm actually out of them at the moment. So this came just in time. My daughter's still sleeping, so we'll have eggs when she wakes up. Four zucchinis because I, I like these just sauteed in a pan with some, um, seasoning. Or we can throw some of that shake and bake on there too. I bet that would be good. Um, I was looking for ground turkey. They did not have it in the 98 or 99% fat free, but I did find ground chicken breast and they're limiting you to have only two at a time. So I did grab two because it's often sold out. And then when I find it, I grab what I can. So I got two ground chicken breasts. And if you haven't seen any of my videos, what I eat in a day, I used ground chicken breast or ground turkey to make burgers and meatballs oh my god the meatballs were so good that we made the other day we had some a meal with the meatballs we had the bonza mac and cheese with it once and then once i did the palm palmini um hearts of palm spaghetti and i i we served it with that it was so good this is something new that i've never tried it's chicken with garlic parmesan potatoes by bird's eye it's a sheet pan meal it's one point for one and a quarter cups of it and it's just chicken breast with vegetables and potatoes so I figured on a day that we need something quick and we don't know what to eat, this this is perfect. So, and that's plenty in there for my daughter and I. I think we'll even have leftovers. These I love. I recently discovered these as well, the Bird's Eye Power Blend, because for the entire bag of each one of these, each bag, for the entire bag, and it's a pretty good serving, you could throw this in the microwave and you have a quick dinner and you just add, a, add like a protein if you'd like, or if you could add a... Um, a vegetable like sometimes I'll beef it up with some broccoli and if I have a protein prepped like chicken or something like that or turkey I'll throw that in there as well but they are three points each for the entire bag so I got two of these and I got two of these this is the spinach and quinoa this is the black rice and edamame these I have not been able to find for a while but finally back in stock at my Walmart Turkey breast tenderloins, they are 99% fat free and zero points. So I got two of them. I'm going to throw them in the freezer. And then I also have some non food items that I needed. Um, I have a one of those Airwick um, timed spritzers in my bathroom. So I just got refills for that. I got some more um, Cascade dishwasher pods. I got some new garbage bags because I'm about to run out of those. And then we just needed some band aids. Um, 
for the house because we like to walk a lot. So we've been getting some blisters on the back of our feet. We recently went and got uh, new sneakers. So hopefully that will not happen as much anymore. Oh, in the back here with my fruit bowl, I also got eight bananas. We go through bananas a lot and I'm always annoyed when they give me green bananas because I would like a banana today, but they're not ripe yet. So, but anyway, we'll have some bananas in a few days when they get ripe. Honeycrisp apples, that's our favorite. And then I got a three pound bag of tangerines or cuties, however they're labeled. Um, usually I eat two at a time. They're super sweet and I can throw them in my lunch for work and it's just super easy and convenient. Please do not mind the noise that you're hearing in the background, my laundry is running. <laughs> but anyway, here is my large and in charge grocery haul for the week. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support. If you could, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. Follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits and Facebook at everyday tidbits because I would love for you to be a part of my social media family. I hope everyone's being safe out there and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.